ladies, welcome to day five. We're gonna get started with a band. So come on down on the ground and grab that band. We're gonna start with our bird dogs and our spine openers and then get into warming up upper bodies what we're working today. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. A little bit of a spine warm up here first. The arching and releasing. Connecting to the body, breathe in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. And find a nice neutral core brace. Right arm, left leg, reach out and hold. Good, breathe. In through the nose, exhale out the mouth. Other side, waking up the body, prepping it for the work to come today is all upper, no hit, no core, no little bonuses. So it's a really nice one where we can just delve into upper body. And so we're working on that endurance this month. We have a lot of reps ahead of us. So knowing that ladies, this is less time on this side. And then we'll switch up to our side openers. Knowing that we have so many reps, let me do my quick math, 45 reps we're looking at today. Oftentimes the most we're doing, if we're doing three sets of 12 is 36. So it's a lot of reps today, okay? Take that into account when you choose your weights. No, I don't want you to go easy. Yes, I still do want you to feel like at the end of the set, you can only do two or three, but think about that. If I'm asking you to do 20 reps the first time, and some of them are combo moves. So say for bicep curls, we actually have two curls in that 20 reps. That is 40 curls. Okay, grab your band. Stay on your knees. We'll do the band pull aparts. You can't curl for 40 curls, something that you can usually only curl for 10 or 12, right? So think about that when you pick your weights. Again, we're just going after something different. It's still going to work your muscles. If you happen to not care as much about endurance and you want to actually grow your muscles as big or as strong, get more definition, then maybe instead you do want to take this workout and tweak it to be instead three sets of 10 or three sets of eight. If you're really looking to grow muscle and go heavy, these are ways you can personalize your workout. All right, which we can always talk about. You guys know that. Stand up, easy bent rows, feet on the band, shoulders down away from the ears, core brace, gentle banded rows, drawing the elbows toward the ribs, neck, are relaxed. Breathe. Good, now scoot it on up <laughs> to about your bra line here, shoulders down and relaxed. Knees are soft, easy banded chest presses. So also since today's upper, everything is combined here. It's pull muscles and push muscles, everything upper body, okay? Good, rest that and give me some arm swings while we are about to get into it here. I hope you have water. If not, go grab some. We're gonna take a water break at the end of each round and we're doing descending reps. So the first round is the most. First round's 20, second round's 15, last round is 10, okay? First round, I'm gonna show you every exercise just right before we do it, but pretty much you're looking at right now, I'm gonna grab some 15s, some 10s and some fives, which actually are all right here under my stairs where I stash them. So that's what I'm gonna try to work with this first round, just so you know what to gauge. I don't think anyone's going over 15 today, but maybe, maybe you are. All right, so the first exercise, this is where I'm trying out the 15s for the first round, which is the most reps, but we're also freshest. And this is a chest fly floor press combo. So it looks like this. I'll show you the first one, then you're gonna join me. Feet are flat on the floor. You're all the way down, neck and shoulders are relaxed, jaw is relaxed. You're taking those weights up right over shoulders. First, we floor press, elbows to ribs, bring it back up to ceiling. Now round out the elbows a little bit and it's a chest fly. We go wide and come back. All right, so now join me. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale wide, exhale together. So your low back is pressing down into the floor or into a mat, your shoulder blades are rooted into the floor. Your core is bracing to be able to make all that happen. This is where core is always involved, right? That's only five reps. So we have 15 more to go. Inhale, exhale, take your time. Do not rush it. If you're flying way above me and you are using a little bit, maybe then too light of weight and maybe need to go up a little bit, I still want this to be work. It absolutely should be work. Breathing. You should be almost like, can I make it through this whole set with it? That's where I'm feeling right now. 
at this rep makes it halfway and if you need to you can always shake it out take a breather and then come back into it so lots of combo moves today here we go breathe push that back down Woo. good we're getting pecs we're getting triceps we're getting shoulders oh yes good wide come on five reps to go use that breath it really helps final three you got this down up wide together good don't let them touch when they come together last rep Woo. your feet are dancing are you really lifting heavy enough? Good. Now carefully get up, ladies. So put those weights just to the side, and then you can grab your thighs and roll up or turn over, <laughs> especially if you've got a little blockage in the way like I do. Now we're going to grab one dumbbell or possibly two or a plate. We're doing a kneeling overhead extension. We are taking it kneeling because it helps to not use so much momentum with the possibility of bopping in the legs. So knees under hips core brace and it can actually take a little more core this way so there's just a bonus watch the first one shoulders down away from the ears inhale to the back of the neck exhale to the top what i don't want you to do is i don't want you to over clench your glutes and i also don't want you to lean back often those two go together stay neutral if anything you can lean a little forward shoulders down here we go 20 reps ladies come on inhale exhale look straight ahead Good. so you're in control of it the whole time. Don't let that weight just fall to the back of the neck and then pop up to the top. You're controlling the movement and at the top of the exercise, do not lock out your elbows. Keep them slightly soft. You got this, breathe. Inhale, exhale, core braced so your body doesn't swing around. Holy cow, seven. Yep, good, push muscles get a break in a second. I know they just got a double whammy. Good, you got this, three two one and bring it on down good now we're going to stay on our knees kneeling band pull apart you have a choice here to go palm up or palm down palms up palms down palms up a little more bicep palms down a little more shoulder grab your band where you have enough tension that you're going to feel this but not so much that you have to bend your elbows what i want you to do is shoulders down away from ears arms are already straight you're pulling that band as wide as you can toward the center of the chest. Okay, again, this is one so easy to lean back. So if anything, lean a little forward because it does nothing bad. There's no detriment to leaning forward here. Okay, here we go. Exhale, inhale. That's not quite enough tension for me, so I'm gonna go in a little bit, but again, we do have to get it for 20. So pull those shoulder blades toward each other. That's what we're working here is the back of the shoulders. Your rear delts really, really helps with posture. No one likes working them. I don't like working them. Such a small muscle group, it burns so quickly. <laughs> Good. Seven, six, that little break is because I needed it. Five, four, three, pull wide. Come on, two, one. Good, where you're also feeling that, where I am too. Upper traps, it is what it is. They kick in to help. Now we have the double whammy of a bicep curl, hammer curl regular bicep curl you turn the weights to face your body right so we're gonna do both in a row which is crazy feet hip width knee soft we go bicep curl then keep the palms facing each other hammer curl so two curl variations in a row which is how we're getting 40 reps i'm gonna try to start it with my tens i might have to drop down to my fives we'll see what happens all right here we go big thing if your form starts you know you start seeing it in your form you start swinging using momentum Go ahead and drop that weight down, okay? Feet hip with knees soft, shoulders up, back down, core brace. Regular curl, set, hammer curl, set. That's one. Regular, set, hammer, set. So all we're changing in between is whether or not we are rotating the palms to face our bodies, face our chest. Good. Exhale, inhale. I just noticed I was really over clenching my glutes. So if you are doing that too, let that go. Somewhere else you might be putting a lot of tension is in the grip of your weights. So make sure you're not death gripping those dumbbells. Keep breathing. This is an exhale up, 
inhale down really nice and clean breathing situation this is halfway i'm going to take a quick shoulder roll Ooh, <laughs> give my biceps a second and try to carry on with these all right up to you here we go this is the most i'm going to ask of you today next set we get to go down to 15 okay so power through eyes on finishing the list it's all right we're supposed to do hard things good five more here no swinging control it wow up come on three up yes lots of burning it's all right oh my word last time up and up rest good job okay we're so close to a full rest give them just a little shake out this one is for the shoulders it is mostly frontal and medial delts here little touch of rear delts and a pullback you need to go light for this one i'm gonna grab my fives this is front pinkies lead the way your pinkies pull it back just like that band pull apart where we pull right so front pull to the side bring it down that is one rep i know i know <laughs> okay it's gonna be good shoulders up down away from your feet hip width knees soft 20 is the most i'm ever asking for from you for this so let's go front pull down no leaning back front pull down good do you really think about pulling it to the side and then stop at the sides of your body don't go behind yourself because you might kind of twist hurt your back we don't want to do that so focus on these shoulders making your arms as long of levers as you can that makes it harder if your elbows are bent that's going to be a little easier heaven forbid <laughs> so try to keep them as long and straight as you can front side down i know front side down you got this we're looking at five more front side down push break is right around the corner three more reps front side down good work front side last time awesome job rest okay breathe shake it out it's a doozy today i know it really is i think this month truly is a doozy but we are going to take a shake take a break give up our body a second you need to we have one more minute to rest so go ahead go switch your laundry go do something you need to do but when we come back we're doing 15 of everything make sure you're not like me and throw and drop your weights everywhere so keep them close but make sure you have room to work so we're gonna be going back to the floor doing that floor press this is where I want you to assess ladies we have one round down we have two rounds we still have to get through but we are going down in reps so for 15 reps how can we do I feel like the 15s on that first combo for me was like perfectly hard to get to 20 so I'm tempted to go down, but I know I'm only doing 15 reps this time, so I'm gonna try to stay with it, okay? This is kind of how we can gauge things. I always prefer if you're between two thinking, I don't know if I can get all the reps, but this one's gonna be too light, this one's gonna be too heavy. Start with the one you think is gonna be too heavy, and then just drop it mid-set if you need to, right? And then next week, try to drop it towards more the end of the set, you know? That is all progress. We wanna make sure we're progressing, and pro progress is not just one thing, just doing a heavier weight for an entire set. Okay, feet flat, press your low back down, shoulders away from ears, let's go. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. The great thing about set number two is we're already really warmed up. Sometimes this one actually feels even better than set number one because now our muscles are really firing, they know what's coming. So focus on doing it really well. Use your breath, cross that low back into the ground so core gets right out of this too. Make sure you're not touching those weights together at the top. You wanna leave them a little bit separate, right? Ooh. Yes, come on, five to go. You need to stop and switch, hit that switch or take a breather and then finish your set. Come on, come on, push. You got this, two, wide, last one. Oh, working for it, I know. 
Okay, safely bring them to the side, roll it up or turn it over and come on up. Stay on your knees, grab that dumbbell, kneeling overhead extension. This, again, tempted to grab a 10. Gonna start with a 15, but it's close by. If I need to make that switch, no leaning back. Glutes relaxed, core brace, let's go. Inhale, exhale, neck and jaw. Relax it, how do you know if it's relaxed? Kind of wiggle your jaw and see if you can freely move it. Good. Neck, ceiling, neck, ceiling. Seven, six, yeah. Five, come on. Four, three, two, beautiful job. Good work, rack it down. Not leaving the floor yet. Band pull parts, your choice, palms down, palms up. I went palms down last time, so this time I'm gonna go palms up. Knees about hip width, anchor yourself to the floor. Exhale, inhale. You are not bending and straightening your elbows. Those arms stay straight the whole time. You're just pulling those hands as far as you can away from each other, okay? Holy cow. Seven, six, I know, shoulders down away from ears. Don't let them come up here. Five, four, three, it's terrible. Two, one, good work. Come on up. Bicep curls are next, okay? Give me what you got. Take breaks if you need it. Drop down if you need it. Holy cow, feet, hip width. Knees soft, shoulders up, back down. I needed this today though too. I hope you did as well. Where I said, like, I need a good upper body day. Good. Nice. I had to combine workouts a little bit so I wasn't doing it perfectly. The split body muscle groups, there was a couple busy weeks in there, even filming where then I didn't film it and I just combined our workouts that were going on in the current month into full body. So also think about that. You can always do that. Send me an email or book a coaching call if you wanna figure out kinda how to personalize it for you. But I had to do that schedule-wise. So anyway, point being, it's a big difference going from full body back to single, you know, all upper, all lower. Your body feels the difference. Whew. Yes, good, get a lot of volume to one muscle group, way more sets. Instead of getting just like, you know, two exercises or three exercises devoted to upper. This is the last rep. Good, rest. You get five exercises. In our case today, 45 reps dedicated to upper body. Here we go, feet hip width, knees soft. Last exercise of this round, 15 T raises. Let's go, front side down, no leaning back. Also don't float them above shoulder height. If you can do that, that's a sign your weights need to go up. And there's just no benefit in what we're doing right now to bring the range that high. Good. Shoulders down away from ears. I know that's what's getting tired for me first after those band pull aparts. Is that upper traps and maybe that's you. So take a breather if you need to. Hop back in. If you really need to too, you could bend the elbows a little bit, shorten the range like we talked about. Four, good, almost there though. Three, two. Last one here. Up, side, rest. Awesome work. All right, I'm watching our countdown clock here to make sure that I give us a minute, but take more if you need it, ladies. Truly, I mean that. Sometimes I just need more rest than that, or sometimes I get distracted, because, shocker, because I go to do something, like switch laundry, like stock my pantry down here, something in between sets, and I'll inadvertently take a longer rest. I'll come back. My next set will be so good, so powerful, so clean. So there's a reason to rest. Make sure you use it. I give us a minute, mostly in these situations, in the videos, just to keep the length of video manageable for us. But pause it, don't quite start yet, if you need a little bit longer. Two sets down, one to go. And the best news ever is this is only 10 reps. Isn't it funny how our perspective changes? Usually 10 is the norm. <laughs> 10 seems like a lot every time. Now we get to do only 10. So we're all so tired because it's the final set. So do with that what you will. We get a little blood flow in to the arms. Wow, before, also I I'm gonna talk about that real quickly, then we're gonna get into it. So giving us maybe a minute and a half. 
you might feel a little like tight, actually like your muscles are a little bigger today. That's called a quote unquote pump. Um, when you get more blood flow to that muscle, uh, you are going to feel that. It is short term, it lasts for usually a couple hours, like a day is really long for it to last. So don't think like, oh my gosh, that actually made my face bigger. It did not. You just have a lot of, of blood flowing there right now, okay? Shoulders down away from ears, press your low back down. Combo time. Let's go. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. That is actually why, like, a lot of people who are on stage or something, typically men, <laughs> if they're wearing sleeveless shirts, like singers or whatever, will do push ups right before they go on stage because you get that kind of pump and it makes you look temporarily a little bit jacked, which I know for most of us, we're not trying to look. Like we have bigger muscles. We want to be tight toned, but compact. I get that. So that's why I'm giving you the heads up. You might feel a little bit jacked today. It's going to go away. <laughs> and then even out to be tight and toned because in the end, muscle really just is sleeker than fat. Unless you are also overeating. That is how to get really big muscles is to lift very heavy in the low rep range and to eat more than you're burning off, okay? So otherwise, we're gonna be all right. Here we go, knees under hips, core brace, overhead extension for 10. Inhale, exhale. This is giving us a great little pace to follow so we don't fly ahead. So keep that beat. Light grip on the dumbbell. Five, four, good job. Not leaning back, three, and one and pull apart. I'm happy to see these go after 10. Palms up or down. Make sure you're not leaning back. Shoulders down away from ears. Let's go. 10. Think about pulling those shoulder blades toward each other. Pinkies lead the way as wide as you can go. Three, two, one. Get out of it. Excellent work. Come on up. Last time with the double curl. Feet. Hip width, knees off, shoulders up, back down. Let's go. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Don't swing them. But look how strong you are. Final set, you're rocking it. Come on. It's fine if it feels hard. It should feel hard. It still feels hard to me. Good. It really actually should. That's halfway. Don't death grip those dumbbells. Don't lean back. Come on. Got this up. Three reps to the finish of this exercise. Two. Oh, it's so <laughs> sneaky when I throw in. Like, also, we're going to actually do, uh, what is, what did I say, 45? So, technically, 90 curls today with the variation in there. Here we go. T raise. Feet hip with knees soft. Front, side, down. Front, side, down. You got this. Inhale, exhale, down. Focus. We're almost there. Finish line's in sight. You got five left. Five. Yep. Four. Good, ladies. Up, up. Core bracing hard. Yeah, last one. Good work. Put them down. Ladies, grab water. Don't run away from me yet. We're gonna give those beautiful, strong arms, back and chest, a quick stretch. Don't leave yet. This is the part you need after working it. Okay, stay standing. We did a lot of kneeling today. Shoulders down away from ears, feet hip width, knees soft. One arm across, drop that shoulder away from the ear. Deep breath, in through the nose. Exhale the mouth. One more deep breath. Get some mad things that don't matter. Good switch. I know. I sparingly pepper in the country. <laughs> the country music. Because I know it's a real love hate kind of thing. Good palms together, reach forward. But whether or not you like country, this is another one of those. This is Tim. I know a lot of you know it already. But if you don't, this one's Standing Room Only by Tim McGraw. And I feel like it's like his other one that live like you were dying from forever ago, where even if you don't like country, this is a good relatable song, so I'm gonna shut up so you can hear it.
thumbs down away from ears. Elbow up, tricep. Good switch. Beautiful job. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, let it go, ladies. Very well done today. Cross it off. Number five done. I'll see you for the last workout if you're doing these in order. And have a great rest of your day.